So I figure that Steam's got a festival going on. It's on until the 7th of October and it's called the next fest. The next festering pile. Of this is how it should be. We should all be able to test and demo some games. So I think personally that this is a great opportunity for developers to reach their own audience. And if they sincerely believe in their game, then they should have no problem with anyone giving it a go. So any of these games that I'm going to be talking about just over the next few minutes, they're all in a demo form. I haven't played them all the way through and you can go and check out these games yourself. More than anything, I wanted to draw attention to the fact that there is a festival going on on Steam and there are literally hundreds of games you can go and give a try. I selected a few games here to talk about and starting with Settlement Survival. This one claims to be Banish-esque. Now, if you haven't played Banished, it's a great game. It's got a really great modding community on the Steam Workshop and that really expands the content. And I kind of looked at this and I thought, well, the trees and that, they look kind of cute. You know, the game looks kind of cool. It is in early access and I played a little bit of it be honest it's got a little way to go but i do see the potential here in the engine they've got something that could look really smart but the buildings themselves there's only a certain th amount that you can do stone cutters wood cutters and it seemed like i could just grab the resources around abouts from me in fact a lot of the things that i could craft within the town itself really had no purpose but like i say it's really hard to be critical of this because i think they've got the base engine down here and this is maybe just a little bit early just to be showing it off but there is potential in this game so remember it's early access and and I think really what it needs is it needs that winter season. At the moment it speaks of having tornadoes and natural disasters but the thing that really made Banish something else was having to survive through winter, having these growing periods, running out of fuel for your fires, running out of clothing for your citizens. So this just feels at the minute a little bit dumbed down in comparison to what Banished is. And one of the other things is I, I really would like to see a lot more building types here. So many of the houses felt the same, but there is definitely something underneath it. I'm going to keep an eye on this one in my wish list and check it out later on down the line. It claims to be a banished inspired city builder and something that definitely could have something underneath it. It just needs a little bit more work, a little bit more polish, but hey, yeah, certainly in a state worth checking out. Something else I had to check out was Robin Hood. Now, pretty much this one is sitting at the top of all of the demos to try out. And me being a survival gamer, the first thing I tried to do was chop down a tree, but no, it's only letting me chop down the certain green trees. So it kind of had that Witcher, Assassin's Creed feel, more than an Ark survival type survival game, but the was something about it that I liked. In some spots, the forest looked beautiful. Don't ask me why, but they've shaved the back of Robin Hood's head, but I guess, you know, everybody's got to have a, a shaved back head in uh, 2021. Once again, I think there is something underneath the hood of this game, and if you're interested, I think they're going to be doing some closed beta tests, and they're probably looking for some more feedback. For myself, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a fully-fledged survival game. But again, something else to keep your eye on. And the third and final game to catch my eye was Anno Mutationism. I think that's how you say it anyway. But it's a 2D pixelated style game with an absolutely beautiful cyberpunk style to it. And out of the three games I tried, I'm really kind of looking forward to this one. So I'm usually a fan of the survival games, but I think in my spare time, I'm really going to keep an eye on this one. This one has RPG elements, but the fighting and the combat felt quite fluid to me as well. But the best I can do to describe what I've played is a sort of action adventure RPG. And I definitely recommend trying it out. It's actually not that much to download and it's just got a really nice feel to it. In its current state, it really does feel quite well polished. So I'm definitely looking forward to having a go on this one. And this has also made it onto my wish list. So there's a few there that I'm going to be keeping my eye on. But go and check out the next fest yourself. It's on until the 7th of October. And there's definitely some interesting games that I think, well, you can get a good idea yourself is whether it's something that you might want to pick up in the future. Definitely another game that I want to keep my eye on as well was Starship Troopers. This one's looking like an RTS style game. 
It's a little bit much at 23.79, but there is a demo to play, and I must say, it does look quite interesting. But go and check it out yourself. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.